Hi guys, it's Sarah. Welcome back to another video here on my channel. We are doing something real different today. Um, my best friend, Maria, you will hear me call her twin in this video. I may have already referenced her a couple times in videos already, but I call her twin. We call each other twin. It's a long story. Um, anyway, uh, she finally got Animal Crossing, I think a couple weeks ago, and has reached the point where we can visit each other's islands. So today's video is just some good, wholesome, ridiculous fun of me running around her brand new island, giving her a crap ton of monies and lots of presents, like a whole, um, what's it called? Inventory's worth of presents, um, just to like help her along in her journey. And I hope you guys enjoy. We're going to be wandering around looking at her empty island. She has quite a few villagers, but she hasn't really hit the point where she can really decorate yet. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Let's, let's jump over to her island. Here we go. <laughs> Oh my god, look at us go. We absolutely lost our minds. Um, and we did, we were talking as we recorded this, um, but I did not have a way to uh, record the dialogue for you guys. So in the future, hopefully we're gonna be able to do some stuff like that because I do wanna come back and tour her island at some point. And I think it would be really funny to have our commentary because if I do say so myself, Twin and I are pretty funny when we're together. Uh, this was us looking at her island flag and then we ran over and look at all this empty space she has the cutest uh villager she got so lucky she has molly and freckles guys and renee i know a lot of people like renee too and clay like she's a stupid amount of good villagers uh but look at all this empty space how satisfying is that just wait till I run on her beaches and they're empty. You guys are going to lose your minds. And then how... Okay, look at these freaking dinosaurs. <laughs> when she... Oh my god, this was so funny. She said when she gets her fossils and she's already turned them in, she puts them together and tries to see which ones she can turn into new animals. Look at how terrifying this one is. It has two heads. No, that's so scary. Oh my god. So then I decided it was time to give her presents and I just look at these bells. I brought her so much money, all the money in the world for my twin. Yes. And the gold, I brought her uh, gold nuggets too, which if you guys don't know, and I don't know if twin knows this, so twin, if you're listening, you can sell those. So any that you don't need for your um, DIY that you wanted them for, you can sell them. And here I am just dropping off all of the I basically brought anything yellow because that's her favorite color and then anything strange and unusual because that is her style for this island she just wants it to be a fun party time look at all those presents oh I'm just gonna run off down the beach and escape it's so satisfying running around her island guys I can't tell you how much fun it was to have this much space my island is so cluttered we ended up visiting mine after we ran around hers for a little while and she was like, oh my god, look at all your decorations, it's so pretty. Meanwhile, I'm just like, dang, it is so cluttered. Like, how do I get anything done in this freaking mess? And the answer is not easily, it's hard, okay? It's really hard. You can see Moose here beside us. Uh, he's her jock villager and she does not like him very much, but his house is cute. She got, I know you get like a jock and a sisterly when you first move in, so hers were uh, Moose and then um, Renee. And I hated my sisterly. I had um, Sherry, this really annoying monkey. Twin probably would like her because she loves monkeys and I think Sherry's purple, so that would be even better. Uh, but yeah, I hate Sherry so much. She's so annoying, but I have Bill and Bill is my baby and he's a jock and I adore him, but Twin does not like Moose. He's just kind of, he's weird. He's a weird dude. This is Twin's uh, tin can. She's very proud of it. Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful tin can. I really love it. It doesn't do anything, but it's, it's nice to look at, you know? 
And then this yard up here is Renee's yard. And she put the little horse in the front yard because <laughs> Renee's a horse. So, you know, it works. It makes sense. Uh, this is Twin's yard. Her other friend that she plays with brought her all of these hybrid flowers. And we became best friends. So now we can also give each other flowers, which is great because Twin loves the flowers and as you guys know I have not one not two but three flower dumping grounds where I just have a stupid amount of flowers dropped and cloning sporadically every time I time travel and it just it's a lot uh, this is a little heart pond that she got that came with her island because she doesn't have terraforming yet so she did not make this but it's a beautiful little heart pond I think you should add to it twin you can make it bigger you can make it more pointy so much and for anybody wondering, uh, her trees are orange trees, and I believe her flowers are lilies, but I could be wrong about that. But I think she got lilies and orange trees. And then she took me over here to her little baby pumpkin patch. I believe this is Freckle's house, uh, if I'm not mistaken. And it's so cute. These are twins' favorite colors, yellow and purple, especially together like this. It's just so sweet. Um, so yeah, I love this little spot. Actually, this is this Freckles' house? Yeah, this is definitely Freckles' house. I think I'm about to go in in a second. Yeah, look at this, little Freckles. Oh my gosh, the little baby girl. She's so cute. She reminds me, I think she's a peppy villager because her house uh, decor reminds me of Pippi, which was the bunny I had for a little while. I replaced her with Poppy, which was hard, but I did it. Uh, but yeah, I think Freckles and Pippi are the same. So we just spent a little time playing around in the house. Twin didn't know you could open doors <laughs> or drawers. That was the first time she opened a drawer. She was like, oh my god, I'm looking at her stuff. <laughs> I really wish that I could have recorded the audio for you guys because it was truly just such wholesome, wholesome content playing with Twin today. It was so nice. And now I believe I'm about to try to go rogue. As you guys know, I like to do. Yeah, I had to run through the pumpkins first. Um, this was when we realized that I didn't have my vaulting pole with me. <laughs> so of course, Twin is like, oh, it's okay. We can go back the way we came and try to do something else. So I'm like, okay, back the way we came. I start running, I'm trying to find a break in the path, or the the um, the water, trying to see if there's anywhere that I can jump across. But y'all know you can't yet, because there's no waterscaping, so everything you have to use a vaulting pole. So I'm just trusting the process, I'm like, this will be fine, we're running, everything's gonna be fine. No, I can't get across. <laughs> So I'm like, it's cool, I'll buy one in Nook's Cranny. I went to Nook's Cranny, and then as I was checking out, I was like, wait a second, no, I brought a ladder, look at me go. So I just decided to go rogue, and Twin was like, what do you mean, where are you going, how are you gonna get there? And I was like, girl, I got this, I do island tours, I can figure myself out, don't worry about me, I'm fine. And then she was like, as I was up here, she was like, oh, you know what, I think there's wood up there. 
<laughs> you could just pick some up from there. <laughs> but we didn't have a um, DIY bench, so I didn't end up making a tool that I definitely needed to get around her island. I just, through sheer stubbornness, uh, ran around until I found a way to get across. And it worked, I mean. So just don't let that stop you. I'm pretty sure her island, you'll see this, like, see this? See how it doesn't go all the way up to the edge and you can get around it? Uh, the water. I don't know if that's how everybody's islands are in the beginning of the game, but that was how hers was. So once I got up to the third level, I could just wander around. And I'm gonna be honest, I don't know if I did that when I was first playing. I think I used my vaulting pole as if like, oh look at her jumping in. I think I like used it as if I couldn't get around without it. And this just proved to me, I'm like, wow. You can do whatever- look it! I got to the orchard! This was the area that we couldn't get to from across the water. Look at this! And then we spent some time uh, hiding in the trees, which was really fun. Where'd I go? Yeah. We had so much fun. There's Twin trying to find me. She couldn't find me. <laughs> oh my god. I love the orange trees. They're probably my mm, second favorite. I really like the oranges, the peaches, and the pears. I think they look really pretty. And I got apples with my house, so that's probably why I don't like the apple trees. I'm probably just a little biased. I also really hate the roses because they were my flower and they were just freaking everywhere and I thought they were so ugly. Oh, here we are at her little secret beach. I brought her a pirate treasure chest that might end up back here. Um, she also visited my island and really liked the toxic waste thing that I had. So I don't know. She was talking about maybe some money bags back here. I'm just really excited for you guys to see it in like a couple weeks once she started decorating. I think what we might end up doing is like coming back to Twins Island a couple times and just as she creates stuff, I'll just do little mini videos. Uh, updating it just because that would be really special for her and I and I think some of you guys will enjoy it getting to see a fresh island because I to be completely honest don't think that I will ever restart completely unless I um I'm definitely not going to restart I might flatten or at least flatten sections of my island I was telling her right here that that would be a good spot for a lighthouse um yeah so I might flatten or uh yeah, I definitely won't restart. So, flatten sections, but not the whole island, and then definitely never restart. So unless I get a second switch at some point and get the game twice to have like a content switch and a main island, I just won't be fully restarting my island ever. So yeah, unless we have the second switch option, I won't ever have a fresh island. Oh, I killed those flowers, but Twin does right now, so it's like the perfect opportunity to show you guys some simple, wholesome Animal Crossing content. The game as it was meant to be. Oh my god, I'm gonna stop talking. Please enjoy Twin trying to catch this butterfly because, oh, oh my god. <laughs> Look at me getting ready to clap and it just, it's gone. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god oh my god yes see that's what i'm talking about guys wholesome y'all remember when you couldn't catch bugs correctly i do i remember when i couldn't fish correctly either it's a struggle all right so the last thing we did on twins island was head into her house and give it a little look um i think her house is so cute she did the yellow roof and it's so precious and she's got the little flower wreath on the outside. It's just so cute. I love the little houses. I think they're precious. Oh my god, look at this. So this color scheme, we talked about this for a while. I love the dark wood and that dark green. I don't think we have any other rugs in the game that are that color green specifically. And like, y'all, that is the color I wanted my Slytherin common room to be, okay? But they don't have anything other than this rug and it's got the nook leaf thing on it. So we went on and on about how um, ridiculous it was that the, some of the best colors are like stamped with the nook leaf. It, it is what it is. That's her little succulent in the corner. She's very proud of him. It's one of my favorite DIYs wise too so I love that she loves it and then her back room back here is her bedroom and I brought her um quite a bit of furniture but also quite a bit of money so she should be able to pay off at least most of her house bill now I think and if not twin let me know I'll bring you more no problem 
we'll get that done for you. Um, but yeah, so I'm just really excited to watch her as she expands and like freshly grows the island. It's just so cool. It's so nice seeing it all simple and plain because I don't even remember what my island looked like with this. But the really sweet thing about the whole situation is that when I was first playing the game last July, I was sending twin like constant like screenshots of my Switch or like pictures on my phone of my Switch. So I just love now that it's come full circle and we get to play together whenever we want. It's so nice. concludes our first trip to Twins Island. I hope you guys enjoyed. We had so much fun recording this and playing together, so we're definitely excited to do it again. Let me know down below what your favorite part of like wandering this island was. Was it the open space? Was it the fresh trees? Was it the weird scattering of flowers? Do you guys remember when like you just didn't know where to put furniture? Because I mean, I do. <laughs> All right, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please consider subscribing to the channel for more videos. I post Animal Crossing content every Monday and Friday with a fun video like this or a speed build on Mondays and island tours on Fridays. So I hope to see you guys around and I love you all very much. Have a good one. Bye.